Today I'm going to show you how to use the grandfather glycol chiller with the grandfather conical fermenter. So the glycol chiller is able to provide cool glycol to the fermenter whenever it needs to be cooled down and it can also crash cool the fermenter to about 4 degrees Celsius. So the first step is to prepare the glycol liquid. Uh, so you need around 6 litres of um, diluted glycol and also make sure that um, when you mix it with water that you put it through a strainer, some kind of cloth or something to make sure there's no little bits of sand or dust or anything in it as there's quite a few little intricate valves and things in the glycol chiller. So I'll remove the glycol filling cap Just to the side and I use a, a funnel or something if you don't have a steady hand in this case. And so there's a red float on the inside and once it's full the red float should be at the top. There's a red float so it's at the top now. I can see that it's full. And just replace the filling cap again. So next step is to plug the glycol chiller into a power outlet in the wall and once you've done that on the left hand side here you'll see a power button so press that and temperature controller should switch on and the temperature display there is the current temperature of the glycol so um, by default the uh, chiller is set to cool to minus five and the way to adjust that you've got an on temp and off temp so on temp press that displays, so it's minus 3.9, that displays the temperature the glycol chiller will switch on again, the cooling. So if it gets to um, 3.9 it will switch the glycol chiller on and minus 4.9 is when it will switch it off again. So and that's where, so it will cool to minus 4.9, switch off and hover around minus 5. And then if you just press OK again, just just shows your current temperature. So just to explain, if I have a fermenter that I want to keep a constant temperature of 18 degrees um, and I've only got the one fermenter in, I can leave this set to minus 5, um, but for to not waste so much power, to not try to cool so much because that's quite cold, I can switch this to say 9 or 10 degrees Celsius, so um, just unlock it and the way to do that is to just um, make the on temp, say, say make it switch on at 9.5 and off at 9. And now it will maintain that kind of around 9, 10 degrees Celsius. So the next stage is to connect the glycol cooling tubes and just make sure you connect these to the correct place in the back of the chiller. So there is a red and a blue hose and these will have uh, black foam insulation on them for um, to keep the cooling efficiency um, but there will be some um, blue and red that you'll be able to see at the ends. For the video purposes, I don't have insulation, just to make it easy to show you. So the blue hose is where the cool glycol comes out and goes into the fermenter. And this connects to the lower side of the fermenter coupler. And then the red hose is where the glycol comes out of the fermenter and returns back to the glycol chiller to cool again. And so this plugs into the higher side. So I'll just connect these up now. I'll now connect the power to the fermenter. So for this you will need your uh, 2 meter fermented power cord and this comes supplied with the fermenter when you buy it. Um, now normally you will have a wall adapter because the fermenter is 12 volts that will connect to this and then go to the wall. So you just unplug the wall adapter and now the 12 volts will be supplied by the glycol chiller to the fermenter so all you need is the cord like this. And so like normal, the one end plugs into the back of the fermenter and the other end plugs into the corresponding power outlet on the glycol chiller where your cooling tubes were plugged into. Just do that now. Yep. 
I've connected the power to the back of the fermenter and now I'll just connect it to the, to the back of the chiller. And once I've done that, you'll see the screen should light up and the fermenter now has power. And the, so the next step will be to uh, switch on the corresponding button to where you've plugged all the hoses into the um, back of the glycol chiller. So just quickly explain that, you've got one, two, three and four, um, that means you can connect up to four fermenters. Uh, I've connected this one up to number four now, line number four, so if I want cooling to be provided to the fermenter now, I'll just switch on button number four, it will light up blue, and if it needs cooling, pump will start and it will provide cooling. So now that I've got uh, my fermenter connected and it's controlling the temperature, I can connect up to three more fermenters. Uh, so, as I said before, each fermenter will come with the power cord included, just um, connected to the chiller instead of the adapter. Um, and for each fermenter you get, you'll need to buy uh, some cooling hoses, so there's a cooling kit package you can buy for that. And to, to connect the other fermenters, follow the exact same steps as connecting this first one. Uh, so just make sure you've got the, the cooling hoses plugged in and the power. Once that's done, just switch on the button to the corresponding line of fermenter that you've connected. And just again, um, once you've switched on the, the button for that line, you just leave it. It will just supply the cooling whenever the fermenter needs cooling. And also another little tip, if you do connect another fermenter or two more, um, with each one, after connecting it, it helps to add maybe about 300 to 500 mils of glycol in just because the uh, the inner sleeve of this fermenter holds that amount of glycol so it's just to top it up so your glycol level is always full and happy fermenting.